Hey there guys, welcome to another episode on the Mine Crew, and on this episode, we're, I'm gonna, sh uh, you know, show off what I'm gonna be doing on that new project I showed off in the, uh, the little update video. I haven't uploaded one since. Minecraft's not dead for me, guys. Uh, I did, I needed a break, uh, just a couple days break, just to kind of relax and to also kind of get caught up with schoolwork, because <laughs> I was getting a little behind. So I kind of needed some time just to kind of catch up, kind of regroup myself or whatever it is, you know, get back to uh, back to what I want to do. And yes, I do. I do want to do this. It's just I just don't know what I want to do with the house. I, there's like ideas, and it's like I've just I don't know what I want to do exactly. So I want to start a new project that I could switch in between, and uh, you know, get stuff done. Man, it feels like these freaking headphones are plugging my ears. I always feel like I'm talking with my ears plugged. Eh, maybe eventually I'll get that all fixed. So yeah, obviously I said I wanted to do the the project in the hills right there where I had houses on top of the hills. Made like a, kind of like a village interconnected between all the hills. You know, connected through bridges and etc. So, actually I need obsidian for this. So I went in that direction. Uh about what like I think I went 500 blocks that way and then 600 blocks that way and I found a new I want to call it continent because it's not just an island it's actually a new it's a, a new big old land thingy land what am I doing uh obsidian cool I'll just bring all that with me and we need some flint and steel I'll just bring that with me And some flint. Okay. Does that work? Okay, cool. It does. So, we're going to go ahead and head to the nether. Actually, one second. Let me... I forgot to bring up the cords that I need to go to in the nether. So it should be terribly far. Uh, da -da -da -da, screenshots. I took a picture of the uh, the coordinates. Hopefully, it puts the portal in the spot where I want it. And... Oh. I'm, I'm so underprepared, guys. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I totally forgot to also uh, get the coordinates I need for in the nether. So, I do apologize for that. Oh, God damn it! I hate this mouse. I don't hate it, but then I do. Okay, so it's 1090, well, it's negative. If I, oh, yeah, I was going to say I could show you guys, but I don't think you can see it. Divide by 8, so we need to go to negative 136.25, which that won't actually matter, but I'll just write it down. And then, holy shit, I can't read this. God damn it. Hold on, let me pull it on my 1080p screen. I think that's an 8. Huh. 28, 23, I think. <laughs> There's a cloud right behind it, so I can't even see the freaking text. Fix it, Minecraft. Uh, okay, I I think it's 28. If it's not, then I am screwed. Yeah, divide by 8. Okay, then we need to go to 352.875, which that doesn't really matter. But you could probably round that up to 8, 353, but oh well. Okay, so that's what we need to go to in the nether. So, we're going to go to that now. And I'm not going to do cuts, because there's actually some topics I wanted to talk about on this episode. So, yay, topics, stuff that I, I don't do, <laughs> and I want to. Um, it's just, I never quite sit down and think, okay, what do I want? Is there anything I want to talk about? So, today... Uh, today, as of December 14th, wait, is it past midnight? No, it's not. Okay, December 14th, you guys all know of the Connecticut uh, school shooting. So, and before I go on with the, the topic I want to talk about, uh, you know, my my thoughts go to all of those um, affected. I can't imagine what the kids are going through. I mean... 
I've never kind of experienced anything like that, so I can't say out of experience how it feels. But I can easily tell that it's it is not a good uh, life experience. Where am I going? God. Okay, so I need to go to negative. So I need to go in that direction, and then 352. Oh, okay. I got to go all the way back. But uh, <laughs> that's why I keep getting distracted. But anyway, my my kind of topic goes with um, per se like gun laws. What do we do with them? Now I I'm gonna say this right off the bat. I am you know pro uh, whatever pro gun whatever you know pro gun safety being able to carry it. Um, it's actually my plan once I get a job and have a kind of a stable income. I want to actually get certified to carry a concealed weapon. Um, mostly because if I I was I'm just like I I want to protect myself. If it ever comes down to a situation like that, and I mean, with the theater shooting that happened in Colorado, uh, it was basically like, um, you know, there was four or five people that had the license to con to carry that concealed weapon. Okay, so we need to go 136. So they were licensed to carry that weapon, and uh, they didn't on the day of the shooting in the theater. Now. Now, if they did, um, obviously, things would have worked out better. Please, this better not be someone's tunnel. Okay, good. I'd, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, God damn it. How many freaking tunnels are there? But yes, if those people that brought were... Could, they had their license to have that concealed weapon, if they would have actually brought it, uh, they could have at least did something to bring that shooter down quicker than waiting for the cops to come because by the time the cops get there there so many people are dead and so what I'm trying to get at is like I know there's gonna be thoughts in people's heads like we should just ban guns now in my opinion I, I feel like they shouldn't ban handguns or shotguns because obviously like I said I go hunting so obviously you know shotguns you need them and handguns are good for safety, your protection. I go, far, I went too far. So, what I'm trying to say is, like, I feel like assault rifles, um, like I said, this is something I talked with my parents, too. I went really far. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. So, we need to go, <laughs> I went, I went way too far. But yeah, like I said, um, there we go. So yeah, it's like assault rifles. Um, what do you like? There's no purpose for them. Like for those guns, I could see a reason, you know, banning them. Because, like I said, those. What do you use them for? I mean, most people, if they own them, they just shoot them for fun, you know. And I, I granted, you know, like I said, shotguns, you know, like for me and many people use it to go hunting. Okay, before I go too far, I need to go to 352. But yeah, like I said, handguns are for protection. Shotguns can be used for hunting and can be used for defense, too. Um, obviously, you know, that's what we use here at our house. Is We got, I think, uh, three shotguns. And we use those for hunting and protection if we need it. So, okay, I didn't go too far. <laughs> So yeah, like it said, assault rifles, um, you know, like, I could see a reason for banning those because yes, people do use those for killing. Um, I think that's what the, the guy in the theater shooting had, I think, uh, I can't tell you the name of the gun off the top of my head, I forgot it. Um, but uh, basically, he, I, I'm positive I think he had a shot, uh, assault rifle, and then the recent, like a week ago or so, the... Um, 352. So I only got to go a little bit farther. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and. What's over here? Hello. So 352. Okay, so we need to put the portal here. So I keep getting distracted, man. It's what happens? But yeah, like I said, I. 
I don't see it it needs to get too drastic like banning the the handguns or you know all guns because like I said also guns kill but they're they're also active defense and I you know I'm glad that we have our second amendment you know that you know we do have our rights to bear arms because just imagine if um somehow we get rid of that second amendment and uh s a gunman s gets his hands on a, a weapon obviously he can go to another country and get a weapon and everything and he can just somehow hide it that concealed weapon okay so basically we leave everybody in the country defenseless defenseless until cops show up so yeah you know, like i said i don't i find it it would be it would be kind of stupid if we were to say, no, no guns, get rid of them, you know, no such thing. Because then, like I said, we're just going to leave everybody defense lift. Defense list. I don't know why lift. <laughs> they don't even lift. Anyway, all right, let's see if we can go to our spot. Coordinates are correct, so please put me above land. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so to wrap it up, um, basically... I feel like um, we need, if there was to be any kind of a bans, they should ban assault rifles or at least make those extremely hard to get. And I mean extremely. And um, tr have teach kids and teach everybody sa gun safety. Uh, I don't feel like there's nothing taught about it. Um, there's It's not taught in school. It's not taught anywhere unless you actually go to a gun safety class. So I feel like... Uh, Gun safety needs to be taught, um, so that, I don't know, there's just gun safety. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, just more of it, like, in class, have, teach kids, like, I don't know, it's just like, when you think about it, it's like, would that really help? I mean, if you teach someone, you know, gun safety, I mean, is that really going to stop them from causing a mass shooting? I don't know. And to be honest, it's just... It happens. I mean, t to be honest, when at the end of the day, you know, people, they're going to shoot, wh you know, people because they're just that crazy. I mean, wh no matter what we do, if we want to, like, treat them mentally, I mean, that could help. But, you know, it's, it's just there's so many people that could be mental like that. And it's all just an act of um, when they or it's all a matter of time to act on it and shoot people. But I don't know. That's just kind of like my thing about it is, um, you know, there's there's no need to be banning guns except assault rifles because there's no use for them except, you know, people. There's u no use for them casually. Obviously, you know, there are other uses for them, but, you know, for casually like owning at your home and such, you don't know. But anyway, um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm not getting my point out correctly, but uh, I really don't want to spend so much time on this so I'm gonna lay it at rest and I might come back to the subject in the next episode or a future episode I might come back to the, the subject and kind of explain it better because I, I don't know I feel like I'm not explaining something to the fullest so I don't know I'll just leave it because I do want to explain what what my plans are out in this area so we're gonna put that to rest for right now we're gonna go ahead and talk about what's going on <laughs> what have I got planned so I wish it was daytime do I have wool or string damn it um I wish I would have brought a bed so it could become daytime hello because I was uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it on top of that hill uh, is it gonna make it? Ha! Ha! Why are you all spun? Creeper, what are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, I overshot it. Cool. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get on top of this hill. Hello. Is this like on hard difficulty somehow? Shouldn't be. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> God dang this hill. Get out of here. 
Okay. What is that, chicken? Okay, so obviously that's where the portal spawned. So my idea was basically the same idea that I had planned over there by the house, except over here. And obviously there's some better hills over here, actually. So I like this area a lot more than the other area to for the plan. Hello, hello despawning spider. So, like I said, that's going to be the main the main place. So what I have planned is, like I said, to do kind of like a village or like a town kind of thing, but on top of islands. And then you notice how there's floating islands, like technically where the portal is, that like section is technically floating at the bottom. It's not connected by like two blocks. So it's it's connected to the, the bigger part back here, but I it's still kind of like floating, you could say. Because in real life that wouldn't be possible. <laughs> um, so my idea was to basically like expand on it, like basically build places on top of the hills, like build something there, there, up there, here, and you know, c go on top of all these hills and maybe even so much to do something over there, way over there. And then, you know, like, or like also right over here, on top of that hill, like a lower ground one. Excuse me. I don't... <laughs> but, um, that's my idea with that, and basically just build a bunch of houses slash, you know, town places, you know, like City Hall. I plan on to be right where the portal is, and I don't know what else to add, you know, just kind of fun little style houses to do. And then when I connect all the houses through bridges, I'm going to add um, an like terraform floating islands to build houses on. So, you know, you'll have a bridge from up on top there, come down to a central point somewhere like in the above the, the bay. And there'll be like a central point. And then I might like terraform like a little floating island, just floating in midair, um, and you know build a house on it, and then just do a whole bunch of little floating islands, kind of floating around in the air up here, and then like I said, connect to the houses on top of these hills, and then I might do like houses on the side of the hills, and so much and then I like I, had, I don't know what I want to do over here but there's a nice like lake right here and so who knows I might do something like because obviously there's hills around it so I could kind of like bring a bridge to, you know bring come down then extend to that and then from that kind of come to a central point above the lake and then just go boom boom and hit all the other hills that are around it and such so that's my idea with it and then, like I said, as it progresses, we'll get, like, villagers so they, they can they can roam and stuff. And then we can have, like, a cool little village place. So, like I said, this is something I've always wanted to do in Minecraft. It's just I never did. <laughs> um, I've always, I don't know, there, I've, I've never built, like, a, a city in the sky, per se. It's not entirely up in the sky, but a lot of it will be floating. But I'm not saying that something entirely in the sky. But I like, like I said, I like this idea because, like I said, you got the huge mountains. We could have houses on them while having floating islands. So it'd be like practically like a city in the sky. But there, it will also be connected to the ground. So I've always wanted to build something like that. I just kind of never did. Because, I don't know. I never really like thought about. Whenever I came to building something, I would just build a house <laughs> before I actually started recording it or playing or something. Like, I would just come on and build a house and be like, okay, there's my house. Okay, done. Moving on. <laughs> so, that's my plans. And obviously, we got a jungle and uh, we got, I know that there's a plains right around over there. So, there, there's a plains and then there's like a snow biome way out there, a forest, and then there's a desert way over there. So we got all the biomes we need here. So if I need to get materials from those biomes, like the trees or whatever, I can. And I've always, I, I've already tried finding a, a village, but like I said, I'll just have to do some exploring to, uh, to find the villagers. And hopefully whenever Bucket allows you to transport stuff through the nether, that'd be great. 
because as of yet, it doesn't. And then also, before anybody asks, like, oh my god, why are you on Bucket? They're supposed to be vanilla. Um, the reason why we go to Bucket, that is weird. Let me go to that. Take me, ah! Okay, never mind. Don't take me to that. But, uh, the reason, like, before people are like, oh my god, why are you not on, you know, vanilla? I'm sure there's probably people wondering. Um, basically, our only reasons to go to Bucket is because of Bucket kind of, they clean the code and make uh, Minecraft run a little bit more efficiently. So that is, a, like, our reasons. Um, and like I said, this comes from Taco. He claims that, you know, he he pretty much just said, he's like, I, you know, Mojang, they do good, but they don't really clean up the code and optimize it efficiently. And he just said, you know, basically, that's what, um, that's what Bucket does. So we kind of switched to Bucket just to have the optimized code, efficient, the efficiency, and also good backups. Um, before we were kind of just running on like a batch code he ran, or that it ran to do the backups every little bit. So this one we could have more backups. It could, it's a lot of a better backup system, and uh, ex all that kind of stuff. So that is the the answer to why are, why we are on bucket. And I'm gonna go ahead and close off that extra pathway. So yeah, like I said, this isn't terrible, terrible, terribly far away. And all I gotta do is kind of just go through my portal, and I can continue on to the next place. So that's great. Good. All right. So there's not much else that I had planned to do on this episode. So like I said, um, feel free to leave a comment down below like on your, what you think about the whole shooting that happened. I mean, on, on, I know it's a tragedy, you know, and it, it's it's sad what happened and what can you do about it uh, except uh, all I can say is like, you know, there's there's only so much that, to learn from this and, you know, and just heal from it. And obviously that's going to take time, especially for the ones who were affected. They're going to need uh, plenty of time to, to heal from it. But all I can say is it's just you just got to kind of look at it as, um, you know, like I said, look at it as a tragedy and uh, look at it as a learning experience to try to make sure it doesn't happen anymore, per se, like in terms of like, you know, police and people who are looking out for people who d could potentially cause a mass shooting kind of stuff. It's just kind of like, you know, look at it as of looking into it as the signs of someone who really wants to come and do a mass shooting. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and head off. And like I said, I will start the project in the next episode. We'll get something really going on that. I, I'm really excited for it. It's a project I really want to do. I've always wanted to do a project as like that. So I'm definitely going to have some fun with it. And uh, so yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look forward to the next episode. Uh, I need to get back into Black Ops 2. I just I haven't. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, you know, from now on I can keep track on uh, my uploads, obviously, since I've took in this like couple day break but I felt like I, I needed it I just kind of needed to kind of unwind relax and kind of regroup and uh, figure out a plan of action I want to do for the for a while so yep yeah, I hope oh, blah, blah. glad you guys stuck around hope you guys enjoyed again and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye